Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a vegan Christmas dinner recipe idea with you. And this is for my butternut squash, lentil and chestnut parcel with all of the trimmings. I make my onion gravy first because the longer it has to cook, the better. So for this, add one teaspoon of oil to a pan on a medium heat. Finally dice one white onion and add that to the pan and then cook it off until soft. Next, add in two tablespoons of brown rice flour and one tablespoon of tomato puree. Then stir those through the onion to coat it well. Next, add in two bay leaves, two tablespoons of vegan Worcester sauce and six cups of vegetable stock. Then season it with some black pepper. Give it a good stir and bring it up to a boil. Then lower the heat and leave it to reduce on a gentle simmer. I leave it on a low heat whilst I'm cooking everything else. And so by the end, you'll have a nice thick and rich gravy. To make the butternut squash lentil and chestnut parcels, start by adding a tablespoon of oil to a large pan on a medium heat. Next, finely dice one white onion and add it into the pan. Mince three cloves of garlic, add that to the pan too, then fry everything off until soft. Next, finely slice half a leek, add that to the pan and again cook it off until soft. Next, add a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder and two bay leaves to the pan and stir it through well to coat the onions and the leeks. Cut a small butternut squash into cubes. Add that into the pan followed by two tablespoons of chopped fresh rosemary and two tablespoons of chopped fresh thyme. Turn that over well and then leave it to cook for around five to 10 minutes until the butternut squash goes slightly soft. Next, add in half a cup of rinse drained red lentils one and a half cups of vegetable stock, two tablespoons of vegan Worcester sauce, and season with salt and black pepper. Stir it all through well and continue to cook it for around 20 minutes until the lentils are soft. After 20 minutes, turn the heat right down, add in one cup of chopped roasted chestnuts, stir those through, then continue to cook it until there is no liquid remaining in the pan. Take it off the heat, remove the bay leaves, then at this point, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Take a 500 gram block of vegan puff pastry and lay it down on a floured work surface. Then roll it out into a large rectangular shape that's roughly one centimeter in thickness using a rolling pin. Trim the edges to neaten it up a little bit, but also so that you have some extra pastry for the top. Then a spoonful at a time, add the slightly cooled butternut squash lentil and chestnut mixture on top of the pastry, around two inches in from the edge closest to you and leaving a couple of inches free at the sides. Using your hands, compact it down into a kind of log shape and next just brush some unsweetened plant milk over both ends and a little bit at the sides. Then fold the end closest to you up and bring the other end up and over the top. Tuck it neatly underneath the parcel. The seam must be underneath, otherwise it will just come open when cooking it. Pinch and tuck the ends in well and make sure that there are no gaps in the pastry. Roll out the leftover cutoffs using a rolling pin and a little more flour if needed. Then using a knife or a cookie cutter, cut out pastry shapes to go on the top. I used a variety of different star shapes. Brush some more plant milk over the top of the parcel, then place on the pastry shapes so that they stick. Transfer the parcel over to a lined baking tray and place it in the preheated oven for around 40 minutes. Whilst that's in the oven, prep the other veg. Start by peeling the potatoes. I do around four small to medium potatoes per person. Then cut them into halves or quarters. Fill a large pan with boiling water, then add in the potatoes. Cook them for around 10 to 15 minutes until the outsides soften. It doesn't matter if they're still slightly uncooked in the middle. Drain them off in the colander, then give them a good shake in the colander to roughen the outside of the potatoes a little bit more. Then place the potatoes back in the empty pan. Add in three tablespoons of oil, a tablespoon of chopped fresh rosemary and a tablespoon of chopped fresh thyme. Then season it with salt and black pepper. Give the pan a really good shake to coat the potatoes well, then transfer them over to a baking dish and place them in the oven to roast for around 30 minutes. Next, prep the carrots, peel and trim them, then cut them into sticks. Place them in a baking dish, drizzle over a tablespoon of olive oil, two tablespoons of maple syrup and season with salt. 
give them a really good shake to coat them well and then place them in the oven to roast for around 20 to 25 minutes. Next make the sautéed greens with mustard and for this add 2 tablespoons of oil to the pan used to boil the potatoes. Wash and peel a bag of sprouts then trim and half them and add them to the pan and sauté them until they begin to brown slightly. Shred and half a savoy cabbage and add that to the pan along with the other half of the sliced leek left over from the parcel. Cook those down, you can add in a splash of water to help everything soften slightly. After around 10 minutes, add in two teaspoons of Dijon mustard and one teaspoon of whole grain mustard. Stir it all through and continue to cook it for another couple of minutes. At this point, remove the parcel from the oven. It should be slightly golden brown on top and the pastry should be nice and crispy. Then slice it up into individual portions. Plate that up first, then remove the potatoes from the oven. These should be nice and crispy on the outside, but soft and fluffy in the middle. Plate those up, then remove the carrots from the oven. These should be slightly roasted, but soft with a nice glaze to them. Plate those up, then give the greens a last stir through and place those on the plate. I usually get some peas going just before I'm done. Boiling these from frozen only takes a couple of minutes. And then once they're done, plate those up and add on your gravy last. I'm a gravy all over my Christmas dinner kind of gal, but so that you can actually see the food, I just put it over my parcel and you can finish with a little sprig of thyme on the top, mainly for decoration. And there you have my vegan Christmas dinner recipe idea, a butternut squash, lentil and chestnut parcel with crispy rosemary and thyme roast potatoes, maple carrots, sauteed greens with mustard, peas and a homemade onion gravy. If you'd like a recipe without the puff pastry, I will link to my lentil and mushroom loaf that I shared a few years ago. It's delicious too. Personally, I just love a bit of puff pastry with my Christmas dinner. The parcel has so much flavor and so many different textures. I love the addition of the roasted chestnuts in here, but you could swap these out for some chopped walnuts, or if you want nut free, you could chop up some mushrooms and just simply add those in with the leeks. This is my favorite way to make roast potatoes. It makes them super crispy and you get all these little crunchy pieces. It's amazing. And the rosemary and thyme makes it even more delicious. I love the sweetness that the maple gives to the roasted carrots. It really works and pairs nicely with the more savory flavors on the plate. And the onion gravy is what I always make to go over a roast dinner or most winter comfort foods. Sometimes I make it without the tomato puree. I just find that this makes it quite rich and gives it a nice color, but it thickens it well too. However, sometimes I use a little bit of Marmite. You can completely play around with it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it's maybe given you some inspiration for your Christmas dinner. As always, thank you so much for all of the support you've given me over the past year. It is greatly appreciated. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I will see you in 2019. Thanks for watching. Bye!